In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this simple model of a wooden barrel using basic modeling techniques and UV mapping. This is the website where I got the barrel textures from, nordicfx.net. If you click this link, you can download a zip package containing all the textures, which are free for non-commercial use only. If you click the number 2 here, you can also get a lower resolution version of the side of the barrel by right clicking and save image as. Press X on the keyboard to delete the cube. Add mesh cylinder. I'm dragging to make the properties window wider. I'm going to click the object properties button and I'm going to set the Z scale to be 1.8 and enter. I'm going to use two windows, so I'm going to drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window. I'm going to change the view in the new window from perspective to orthogonal and to the front view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and I'm going to go into edit mode. To make a nice rounded barrel we need to add vertices, edges and faces to the sides of the cylinder. To add the extra geometry I'm going to click loop cut and slide. Hover over the cylinder but don't click the mouse button. Press 9 on the keyboard followed by enter. I'm dragging with the middle mouse button to scroll the menu bar and I'm going to click face select mode. I want to select all the faces around the sides of the cylinder. So I'm going to hold down shift to add to the selection, hold down the alt key to select a ring of faces and select a face. And do the same at the bottom, hold down shift, hold down the alt key and select a face. Now we've selected all the faces around the sides but not the top and bottom face. Change this window from a 3D view window to a UV image editor window. In the image menu, open image, go to the folder where you have your barrel textures. I'm going to use the low resolution version of the barrel side. Select the image, open image, zoom back with the mouse wheel. Now for some reason our image isn't displayed, but if I drag with the middle mouse button, go into the mesh menu and UV unwrap unwrap, the image is displayed. When you choose UV unwrap, Blender creates a 2D projection from the selected faces of your 3D model. Now if I select a face, this part of the image will be mapped to this face. But I want to simply wrap the image around the cylinder and this projection won't do that. So if I go into the mesh menu, UV unwrap, there are a selection of projections and there is a cylinder projection and that's the one we want. With the cursor in the image editing window, press A on the keyboard to select all, press S to scale followed by Y for the Y direction, and shrink the grid so that it is just inside the image, press S to scale followed by X for the X direction, and stretch the grid so that it is just inside the image, hold down shift and drag with the middle mouse button to pan the corner of the image into the center of the window, zoom in with the mouse wheel, Press S to scale followed by Y for the Y direction and stretch the grid so that it matches the image. Press S to scale followed by X for the X direction and stretch the grid so that it matches the image. Next I'm going to set up a material and a texture for the sides of the barrel. Click the material button, click the add new material button. I'm going to call the new material barrel side. And I'm going to click the Assign button to assign the selected faces to the material. Click the Textures button. Click the Add New Texture button. And I'm going to call the Texture Barrel Side. And change the type to Image. And click the Browse Image button and select the Barrel Side Image. Click this button 
to pack the image file into the Blender file and in the mapping panel change the coordinates to UV. To check the UV mapping I'm going to change the shading to texture and go into object mode. Now because we only have one lamp in the scene most of the barrel is in shadow. We should add more lamps but a quick trick is to select the lamp and with the cursor in the 3D view, press X on the keyboard to delete the lamp. With no lamp in the scene, Blender fully illuminates the barrel. But if you want to check the render, click the render button and render the scene. Because there's no lamp, the barrel is dark. And another trick to overcome that problem, click the world button and turn ambient occlusion on. Now if we render the scene, Again, the barrel is fully illuminated. Change the window back to the 3D view. Next, I'm going to UV map the top of the barrel. Select the barrel, go into edit mode. Change the view to the top view. Select the top face. In the image menu, open image. Clicking this button displays thumbnails. Select the barrel lid and open image. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan shift and middle mouse button. Mesh, UV unwrap and the projection I'm going to use this time is project from view bounds. Next I'm going to set up a material and a texture for the barrel lid. Click the material button. This time we have to click the Add a New Material Slot button, add a new material and call the new material Lid. And remember to assign the face to the material. Click the Textures button, click the Add New Textures button, call the new texture Lid and change the type to Image. Scroll down Click the Browse Image button and select the lid. Click the Pack button to pack the image file into the Blender file. And in the Mapping panel, set coordinates to UV. To do the bottom of the barrel, change the view to the bottom view. Select the face. Click the Browse Image button. Select the Lid image. Mesh UV Unwrap. Project from view bounds again. Click the material button. Select the lid material and assign the face to the material. Dragging on these diagonal lines will close the image editing window. Change the view to the front view. Now I want to make the barrel nice and rounded so I'm going to go into edge select mode. Hold down the alt key and select a ring of edges around the middle of the barrel. I'm going to enable proportional editing and I'm going to press S to scale. Now moving the mouse from side to side the barrel expands and shrinks in the middle. The white circle is the region of proportional editing and if I use the mouse wheel I can increase the region to encompass the whole barrel. Now I'm going to enter a value 1.4 and enter. I'm going to end the tutorial there. We made a simple and quick model of a barrel. In this more complex version I've sunken the lid and I plan to take the lid off and fill the barrel with gold coins but that's for future tutorials. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.